Hello everybody, this is the Star Shows Guide. Today we'll talk about an amazing project that I had the chance to visit. The project is called the Stereoform Slab. The Stereoform Slab is located in the Chicago West Loop at the address shown below. It's currently not open for display, but you can look at it from the outside of the fence. The slab is a two-scale prototype for future building structure systems that was made using advanced robotic fabrication techniques, which is a design method intended to reduce carbon footprint of concrete construction. It creates a simple architecture expression inspired by structural analysis of a beam. The pavilion was designed by SOM's research team. The pavilion replicates and abstracts a single-story concrete bay found in a high-rise construction to create a simple architecture expression. Typical concrete framing bays usually have the same depth beams as you can see here as opposed to this beam with varying depth. We will talk later why it works the way it works. The research done by SOM revealed that 40 to 60 percent of a building carbon footprint results from the development of concrete slab but with this method the amount of material used and the waste will be minimized to about 20 percent less concrete used than the conventional systems the shape is formed of a specific but simple class of geometry called the ruled surface the ruled surface is a method that makes a significant impact for a large-scale project and expresses a smarter way for material allocation. This technology can lead to a more sustainable and innovative projects. So why does it look the way it looks, structurally speaking? Let's begin at a very familiar game you have probably played when you were a kid, which is a seesaw. Let's talk about this seesaw with Noah sitting up at point A, which is 2 meters from the pivot point, point B, and weighing about 752 newtons, and Emma sitting at point C, which is 3 meters from the pivot point B. Also, let's assume that the seesaw arms are massless, and the seesaw is in equilibrium, so the seesaw will not be moving at all. What should Emma's weight have to be so that the seesaw would be motionless? We can solve this by equating the distance from point B to the person at either ends times the weight of each person like you see on the screen. And you get about 501 newtons for the weight of Emma. This concept is called torque in physics but structural engineers usually call it moment. Torque or moment is defined as the distance times the force times the sign of angle between them. For most structural analysis applications, the angle between for the force and the distance is 90 degrees and hence the sign of 90 degrees is 1. So we can write the moment as m equals d which is the distance times F, which is the force, like you see on the screen here. Same concept applies to a beam with a distributed force or a rod over it, as you can see here. We can plot the moment diagram for this beam, as you see in this moment diagram. The moment increases with distance until it reaches the maximum at mid-span. But I have to mention that this, this is dependent upon what supports or what boundary conditions you have at the end. Finally, if we plot the moment diagram for the stereoform slab or the stereoform beam, which have two cantilever ends, the moment diagram will look like this. As you can see, the slab has a very similar shape to the moment diagram, which most material being used when the moment is high or maximum but less material is used when the moment is small. The beam has less material used than a typical beam, which makes this more 
economical and more interesting to use. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe so that you so you don't miss any videos. See you next time.